So I'm just going to start off this video saying that I am absolutely shocked there are no videos by now on this topic. I mean, the Wii's been out for how many? Like 10, 15 years coming up? I just don't know how Homebrew Creation does not have a video right now. So I decided to step up the plate because I have created a couple homebrew programs before and I thought it would be cool to create a video on this topic. Anyways, here's the video on how to create Wii Homebrew. Enjoy! So the first thing we're going to want to do to create Wii Homebrew programs is we're going to need to download some programs. So what we need to do is Download Programmer's Notepad. This is the first thing that we're going to need. This will be our IDE. For those of you that don't know what an IDE is, it's basically everything that will build the code into a readable format that can be processed through the Homebrew channel. And we can write all of our code in this. To install, you just have to click this to download the installer and install it on your computer. The next thing we're going to be needing is DevKit Pro. This will install our main homebrew stuff. So if you want to hack or create homebrew for any Nintendo console, this is definitely the thing you want to use. But since we're just using Wii Homebrew, we can download this and run through the installation process. I'm not going to do that right now because it is a bit lengthy to run it through again. So. What you want to do is just install it like a normal program, but when it asks you what type of homebrew you want to create, make sure to check the Wii box. And after you've done those two, you might have to restart your computer just to make sure everything settles in correctly. But other than that, that's all we're going to need to create some homebrew. So we can exit out. And the last thing we're going to be needing is a homebrew template. I created a template that will be pretty easy to use. It has the program already set up and a make file to create it all. And to get this file, I'm going to have this in the YouTube video's description. So you just want to go in the description and download this file right here. And then you can right click and unzip it with WinRAR or just Windows. So we can go into our tutorial and we want to open the program that says tutorial.pn project. This stands for Programmer's Notepad Project. So we can double click this and it will open up Programmer's Notepad. You'll see our files are right here. What we want to do is double click main.c. It should look really similar to mine right here, if not the exact same. So you're going to have all of this right here, but first we don't need to worry about that. We need to learn how to create this into a readable format. So up here you want to go to tools and you're not going to have these options here to make and make clean the directory so that it can be run by an actual Wii. So we can go to Options, and you're going to need to go to Tools. Now, you're going to want to go to Schemes, and select C and C++. You're not going to have these options right here, so what you're going to want to do is Add, and then this window will pop up. And you're probably wondering what I have to put in here. So, I'm going to open up this. This is the Make Properties for this tool. You want to have these exact properties. You want to have make, make, make sure you have the dollar sign and then parentheses project path. And then you shortcut. I recommend doing alt one. It's pretty easy. Save all files. And I don't think we'd have anything to change down here. And console.io. Then you want to copy these files too. So, okay. Make sure you have that exactly the same or else it won't build correctly. And then the next up is make clean. I'm going to display these properties really quick. You can pause the screen if you need something. But these are the settings that you're going to need for make clean. Make, what it's going to do 
is it's going to convert our program in the programming language to be read in an actual Wii Homebrew channel or just an emulator. So once you have those two down, make sure you have those two. Those are very important. You can click OK and once you have the main C selected, then you could have these two. Don't do anything yet. I'm going to try to explain how this program works. So right here, if you haven't had any experience with programming in the C programming language, that's okay. I'm going to try to run you through what happens so you can learn that along the way. Basically, what we have up here is including. We're going to have all of the files. This may be like just C files, which are included with your computer or some files are included in DevKit Pro. And we're gonna have all this here. The, you don't need to worry too much about these. And right here, we're gonna have all of this too. So basically what all of this does is it sets it to whatever your Wii's um, screen, what it's outputting on the TV or just your computer. This is what it's, it's gonna make sure that it displays it in the right way so you see what's happening in the program. And then here we have our main code. This is pretty simple. If you've ever coded in C, you're probably going to recognize the int main and then return 0, print F. What this is basically doing for beginners, um, it's just printing out the words hello world onto the screen. And that's it. The make file, you don't have to worry about any of this. It's all like set up, so you're just going to have this. Now, to build this, we want to go to main.c, tools, and click make. Now, down here in the output, you're going to see that we have created some files. And if we go in our directory, you're going to see we have one new folder, and we have tutorial.doll and tutorial.elf. What Programmer's Notepad just did is it took this make file right here and converted it with the main.c program to create a readable and um, writable format that the Wii can understand and create. So right here, I'm going to run it in Dolphin. You can do the same on an actual Wii too, and it will work the same. But just because it's easier, I'm going to run this in Dolphin. So I can double click this and it will open up in Dolphin. Give it a moment and you will see hello world right there. See, so our program has worked and then it's just going to exit to our Wii menu. So we can exit out of this and voila, you've created your very first program. So if we want to create something else like subscribe to the noob 21 i'm just saying you could try to do that or just whatever you want we can also do make clean and that will clean the process and we can make our file and we can do it all again so if we double click tutorial doll again your text will appear right here subscribe to the noob 21 boom it's that simple now, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this will help. I'm planning on making a series. But as always, thanks for watching.